Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to knit an eye cord. This is an eye cord right here. So for this project, we'll need some yarn, two double pointed needles, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. I have here just some worsted weight yarn, just some cotton yarn I had, and these are five millimeter US8 double pointed needles. So let's get started. We're going to make our eye cord today with three stitches. You can make yours with three, four, five, six stitches, but we're going to do three today. So let's cast on and get started. Okay, we're going to cast on three stitches. Okay, so Normally, when you're knitting, you would just start knitting. You would just start working your row. But the magic of the eye cord is that it's cylindrical. It's like a little teeny tiny tube. If we were to knit our row and turn, knit and turn, we would get sort of like a flat tape-like appearance. But we're going to make this one a little bit different. So instead of starting here, with our working yarn here, we're going to slide it to the end of our double pointed needle, just like that. So then you'll take and you'll knit all three stitches as you normally would. Let's get our yarn out of the way. And take your working yarn and just knit the stitch that way. Just knit as you normally would. two and three and then when you're finished you'll slide it down to the end again take your working yarn just like that okay so the remainder of the eye cord is made just by sliding and knitting the stitches, sliding and knitting the stitches. And this will produce that nice little tube. Eye cords are really handy. You can use them as a drawstring in a hood or a sweater. You can use them, they make a nice, strong and sturdy hanging loop. If you have something you need to hang. They also are really great to put at the ends of ear flaps on a hat. So you can use them to tie under a child's chin or an adult chin if you want to be able to keep your hat on. Okay. Um, so I wanted to show you too. I like to give, after each row I do, I like to give it a nice little tug just to get everything all lined up there. Okay. So when you are finished with your eye cord, when you've made it as long as you want it to be, you can bind off as you normally would. I'm just going to bind this off. This is going to be a really short one, but just to show you. So you just want to bind off as you normally would. And you can trim and fasten everything off here. And then just pull that up really snug and then you can use this to you could tie something on it if you're using it um, at the bottom of an ear flap you could even tie like a pom-pom on there you could tie something fun for a child's hat but to weave the ends in you just want to take your tapestry needle and thread it and then I like to just run it up through the middle here kind of narrow, so you might have to play with it a little bit, but just run it up through the middle, pull it up firmly, trim it, and then just give it a pull and that little tail will disappear. So that is how you make an eye cord. And um, you can, again, you can make these as long as you want. And they're, they're very pretty with they're kind of like a barrel of stockinette stitches so they're a very pretty 
cord. And so that's our iCord tutorial. Thanks for watching. And be sure and click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to the YouTube channel that Fiberflux has and get all the latest video updates. Thanks again for watching.